Yo, it is December. That means, well, no, it's not December, Anthony. It's November 27th when I'm recording this. But by the time you're listening to this, depending um, when it goes out, it might be December. Anyway, there's not much time left on 2023. We are in the fourth quarter. We are at the finish line, and it's it's where champions are made. But it's it's already time that we're going to start be setting. Like, a lot of people just write December off and say, oh, holidays, it's the last month of the year. Not a lot's going to get done. I, I haven't hit any of my goals, and so I'm not going to get it done this month. So I'll kind of write it off, take this as a recovery month, and then we'll look forward to 2024, to tackling it hard in January. And this is where like the good intentions of New Year's resolutions comes in, but then they just don't typically last very long. And I think the reason that they don't last very long is because we set our goals around the wrong things. We set our goals around these extrinsic things beyond us that we want to accomplish. And what I find to be a, a more impactful way of aligning myself towards my goals is instead of saying, here's what I want to accomplish, it's more about here's, here's the type of person I want to live in alignment with. So instead of saying, I'm going to go lose 15 pounds, I reframe it into, I want to be the type of person this year who shows up, works out, and eats healthy who gets sleep, who feels recovered, and who feels awesome all the time. I want to be the type of person who, I think that type of a goal, it aligns around a value rather than an external. And that can be very, very, very powerful. A lot of businesses do this. You know, they have their values that they set. Like, these are our core values. This is what we believe in. This is our mission statement, all that stuff. But I, I find that most individuals don't have these things. Which is a shame because when you get really targeted about your particular values and the type of person you want to live in alignment with, like who is the greatest version of yourself that you can imagine? What are the things that they do? What are the values that they live next to? And then just emulate that. That's one of the quickest ways I know of to, to become that type of a person is just to be very, very clear about what types of things they do or they do not do. And, th and the way that they, they make those decisions is through the lens of their values. And so something that I would encourage you to try over the next couple of weeks before we hit 2024 is to sit down and try to identify what are your core values. Don't put too many of them. You don't need 10 core values. I think that's way too many. I think you need three to five. Like what are your three to five core values that you want to live in alignment with over the next 12 months? And that could be, I want to be the, the loving boyfriend who shows up, who's present, who cares, who makes, the, makes his partner feel seen. Or maybe it's, I want to be the type of person who doesn't have to worry about money because it just kind of flows to me through these different avenues, right? Your values can be whatever you want. It can be you know, around relationships, it can be business, it can be around personal health, it can be around anything. But trying to figure out what are the values that you're going to live in alignment with, I think is a much more sustainable track towards achieving your greatness than just trying to set external goals. Because here's the thing about external goals is like, I want to lose 15 pounds this year. Great. When you do that, you're at the top of the mountain. Now what? Do you just put the weight back on? Do you maintain it? Like that's not super motivating for a lot of people. And so that's why they go through these weight fluctuations rather than if their goal had just been to be the type of person who always makes the healthy choice. That is a goal you can live and breathe and move towards every single day. And there is no finish line because the goal isn't to you know have accomplished it it's just to continually play the game better because this game of life is an infinite game i mean we're going to die but it's infinite in that's in the sense that you winning it is not the goal your goal is just to continue playing it as well and as for long as possible and i think the way that you do that is by living in alignment with your values so try that instead of goal setting this year try value setting and see where that gets you thanks for being here guys i'll catch you in the next episode